I tried making a Dubai chocolate cheesecake and brownie cheesecake version for the first time and I was super happy with the results. If you're wondering what Dubai chocolate is and what the hype is all about, this is kataifi or kunafa dough that's roasted in butter. The star of the filling is this rich pistachio cream that's mixed together with tahini. The roasted crispy kataifi or kunafa is added to this. Typically, this is set in a chocolate bar. But I'm making a cheesecake and brownie version, so I will bake a cake base, I will add chocolate on top of it, some of the filling, and I'm going to top it with a decadent cheesecake batter. I will repeat the same process, well, almost, for the brownie cheesecake. Once baked and cooled in the fridge, I will add more chocolate, more pistachio filling, and once it's chilled and set, I will drizzle it with some dark chocolate before serving. using two pans for this as I want to make a decadent cheesecake but also a brownie cheesecake version. My round spring foam pan is 10 inches whereas my brownie pan is 11 by 7 inches. I'm using store-bought cake mix. This is about 375 grams and I've made it following the package instructions which included oil and eggs. I'm not going to use all of it, I'm just adding a layer on both pans to create a base. I've used two cups in my spring foam pan and I'm going to use a cup in my brownie pan. Initially I wanted to use Oreo cookie crumbs which would have been amazing but I couldn't find it at the time of making this video. This will go into my preheated 350 degree oven. While that bakes, I will work on the dough. This is kataifi or kunafa and you can find it frozen usually where they sell puff pastry. Since I'm making this for the first time, I was not sure how much of dough I would need. My package is 454 grams and I would have used about 350 grams in total. Just roasted in batches in a pan with some melted butter. You can also toss it in butter and throw it on a baking sheet in the oven, but you do need to keep an eye on it. Pieces are ready, I will leave them aside to cool down. I have three packages of cream cheese here and these are about 250 grams each. Since it was sitting in the fridge, I just zapped it in the microwave for a few seconds to warm up. I'm going to add the eggs in one by one. I have three eggs and I'm going to whisk it to incorporate. Next I'm going to add 3 4 of a cup of sugar. Ideally you want to add the sugar before the eggs. I forgot but that's okay. Whisk this all together. Finally, I'm going to add in one tablespoon of vanilla essence, the juice of half a lemon, and one tablespoon of flour. Whisk this together, but don't overmix and keep it aside. I will be using pistachio cream. You can find this in specialty stores and also online. I will also be using 70% dark chocolate and tahini, which is a sesame paste. Because I'm making this for the first time, I'm going to mix up a batch of filling and I'll make more as I need later. Start with a cup of the pistachio paste. I just warm this up in the microwave to make it easy to mix. Next, I'm going to add in a quarter cup of tahini or sesame paste and mix it. For best results, use a new bottle of tahini. It usually gets hard and clumpy if it's been sitting around for a while. I'm going to add in two cups of the roasted dough. Mix this well to coat. Now that the cakes are cool, let's start working on them. I'm going to add a thin layer of dark melted chocolate over the base. Next, I'm going to add a thin layer of the pistachio filling and I'm going to reserve about a cup.
about two cups of the cheesecake filling on the top and tap to remove the air bubbles. For the brownie version of this, I'm going to add some melted chocolate over the top. And since this is not very high, I'm going to add what's left of the cheesecake batter and spread it. This is roughly a cup. Tap this as well to remove any air bubbles. For best results with the cheesecake, it's always best to cook it in a bain-marie, that is a water bath, hence I'm elevating the cake pans. Or you could wrap it in foil to prevent the water from seeping in. Pour in some hot water and I will return it into the oven. This is going to need 35 to 45 minutes to bake. While the cheesecakes are baking, I'm going to make another batch of the pistachio filling. Once the cheesecakes are baked and cooled down, add another layer of melted chocolate on top. Top with the pistachio filling and this time I'm using the whole batch to top the cheesecake. Sprinkle with some reserved crispy kataifi or kunafa dough and also add some crushed pistachios. For the brownie version, I'm going to scrape in all of the reserved filling from the first batch and I'm going to spread this out and add some more pistachios. Chill both the cheesecake and the brownie cheesecake for at least 6 hours. Since this is my first time making these, I was a bit nervous to cut it in. The brownie version looked amazing. Drizzle some more dark chocolate on both cakes. In total, I melted and used 300 grams. Now for the moment of truth with the cheesecake. It cuts beautifully and it reveals all of the delicious layers. You are going to love making this cake and brownie. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.